morning and praise the Lord to all. We thank and praise God because we all are alive today and we all are gathered here under His, his protection and care. So let's praise His name through singing. Before that, let's pray. Dear God, Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this bright morning you've given us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything, Lord, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything, Lord, O oh Lord. Now we are going to praise your name, Lord. With us and guide us, Lord. Whatever song we will sing, Lord, you help us, Lord. O oh Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. O oh Lord, we want your presence here, Lord. I believe that you're hearing our prayer and answering, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please all stand. Let's sing one song to his glory, higher ground.
turn our Bible to Psalms number 33, verses 1 to 5. Psalms number 33, verses 1 to 5. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise Him. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make music to Him on the ten-string lyre. Sing to Him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all He does. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of His unfailing love. Through this scripture, may God bless us all. Let's sing song, Te Pasa Mate Shadam.
us, Lord, to learn. Most loving Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time that you have given us. Thank you for this beautiful, blessed Sunday that you are keeping us alive to praise your name, to glorify your name. So now we are going to listen from your world, Lord Jesus. So be with us and guide us. And Lord, that help us to understand each and every word. Commit her into your mighty hand and each and every one those who are present here. So Lord, before we are going to listen, I commit into your mighty hand for each and every one. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Good morning all, a warm Christian's greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I also thank God for blessing us this wonderful morning once again to worship Him and then to adore Him and then to praise Him through His living word. So this morning we are going to see receiving god's guidance receiving god's guidance so we are going to learn about how we are going to receive god's guidance before that let us look to god in prayer Adel, Heavenly father lord we thank you so much for blessing us this bright and beautiful morning to each and everyone presence here lord and Lord, at this very moment, as I am a sinner, I am not worthy to be praised you, and I am not worthy to speak from your word. But Lord, thank you so much for choosing me to speak from your word at this very uh, morning, Lord. Lord, at this time, we submit all of our life unto you. Help us, Lord, and then fill us your Holy Spirit so that we can be able to hear and learn from your word and then help us to put in our daily practice, Lord. And Lord, as I'm going to deliver, I committed myself unto your mighty hand. Use me and then help me, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Therefore, we commit this time unto your mighty hand. We pray in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Receiving God's guidance. So, um, many of the times, many of the times we go a wrong direction. And then we take a wrong decision. We go a wrong way because we choose misguidance. And then we we are mistaken. We mistake to choose who is going to guide us the right way. Because we are choosing the person to guide us with, uh, with our own understanding. Or with our own ability because we are not depending on God but here this morning what God has promised is to lead and to guide us so he promised to each and everyone to lead and guide us so as believers we sincerely desire to be led by God and then we only need to give the place that God ha only need to lead in our ways and in our life. We understand the importance of following His plans and purpose for our lives. We recognize that God's ways are the best for us. So we, we seek, we need to seek, each and every one of us need to seek to live according to His will for our lives. So this morning, I want to share with you all is the important ways, some of the important ways we receive God's guidance for our life. Some of the important ways we receive God's guidance in our life. So let us see. So my first point, is God our guide. God our guide. We need God's guidance in all kinds of matters in our life. So some of us, some of us may have to do with small decisions and then some, uh, some of us may have a big decisions or a major decisions. So at that uh, very difficult points in life, we need God 
we need God because he knows he knows what will be the next steps what will be the next steps so let us see as uh, some of the examples from the, the life of the students what would be our desire or what would desire for us to know which academic area to focus on and then as uh, some of us some of us entering professional life would desire we have to desire to know which job or opportunities for our career to pursue and there are other major life decisions including the choice of one's partner or one's friends which part of the world to live in which local church to be part of so on there are many things that many people have a decision starting from the small to big decisions so our desire is to follow god through all of life decisions through all of life's decisions so we have the wonderful privilege of having god as our guide and the ability that receive his guidance every step of every step of the way so we are privileged every one of us are privileged that god is our guide and then he guides for our lives and then he fulfill for our desires whatever decisions that we have made and then my second point is god's promise to lead and guide god's promise to lead and guide there are several scriptures revealing to us that god has promised to lead and to guide us this is wonderful assurance to each and every one of us because god is genuinely interested in the decisions that we have to make and and has promised his guidance so it is says in psalms number 37 verse verses 23 to 24 the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord and he delights his way 24 it says though he fall he shall not be utterly cast down for the lord upholds him with his hands the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord and god takes pleasures in the way this or god takes pleasure uh, god takes pleasure in the way where we are going so god is very interested in our lives very interested in the steps that we take the path we choose and the decisions that we make so some of us some of us need to get rid of the notions that god does not really cares or oh, why would he even care about me when he has this huge big universe to take care of the great god of this universe busy business himself with our every small and big step even even if we make mistake stumble, stumble and and falter it is not the end of everything we are not we are not them for the rest of our lives god upholds us god upholds us so let us believe and then let us trust to god because he has promised us to lead and to guide us and then god's promises and then his leading his guidance will never fail
and then he will always uphold us so let us have hope and then believe and then look towards God and then my third point is the Lord has promised to instruct teach and guide us so our response to his instruction teaching and guidance is also important he points to two animals which lack in understanding the horse and the mule and hands must be harnessed and held firm in order to go an certain way they could either run ahead and must be held back or could be very stumbled and hard to move forward we must avoid either to this postures so what the bible tells us in Psalms number 25 verse 12 who is the man that fears the lord him shall him shall he teach in the way he chooses so when we walk in reverence for the lord god will teach us the way in which we should go the good news bible renders the verse those who have reverence for the lord we learned from him the path they should follow so let us let us have faith in god let us try to walk reverently for the lord and then he will teach us he already promised that he will teach us the way where we should go so these are the promises that God has given us I and mean, then we are very privileged to have God in our life that he is teaching us where we should go and then what we should do. So our heart's attitude determines if we are going to hear from God and receive his guidance. If we are reverent, walking in the, in, in the fear of the Lord, we will not only seek his his will but follow true to do his will so the lord makes out those who fears him and makes make his guidance available to us so from this uh, from this point what we are learning is to receive his blessings, his guidance, his leadings in our life. So let us all come together and then focus on God's promises. God's promise is not like how we promise to each other. Our promises can break any time, but God's promises will never break in our life. And then he said that he will lead us, he will guide us. Definitely. He will surely guide us and lead us and then he will never let us live alone in the middle of our ways. He will always lead us till our life ends. May God bless us all through this short sermon. Let us look to God in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much for the wonderful word that has come to us, Lord. Help each and every one of us, speak each and every one of us to live according to your wills and then your promises. Lord, speak to each and every one of us if we go astray from you, if our faith is not faithfully in you, if we are not having fear in you, Lord, remind it once again to each and every one of us that your promises, your guidance and then your leading hand will never leave us and then will never be uh, for a one day or for a week, but it will be for our entire life, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord, for all these things. Thank you so much, Lord, for your promises to lead us and, and then to guide us from the right direction. Therefore, we commit once again our life, our wills, our desires, our plans, our purpose unto a mighty hand. We pray in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.